So, this obviously didn't work. So. Uh, beg your pardon. Let's get rid of all this. So, single stage worked pretty well. It, it got us pl plenty high enough. Um, in fact, we already beat that. But we now we need to go back. I mean, we have to remember that our contract now is to get to 16,400. But we need to get to an area. Now, this is our new contract. Sorry, let's get rid of all these notifications. It's like the space version of Facebook. Right, so we've got a test. R10 solid rocket boosters. So what are they? I hear you cry. They're these. Now, how many of these can we get away with? Let's try four, because why not? So solid rocket boosters are a bit different um, from the engines we've been using so far. What we've been using so far are these liquid fueled engines. Um, so liquid engines are used uh, in, if you think of a rocket, you're thinking of a liquid fueled engine. Um, that's where you have what they call liquid fuel, and that could be kerosene, that could be some you know, complicated chemical concoction. Um, and it's also got oxidizer. Now the reason that you have liquid fuel is because it has a much higher density than a gas, obviously, you know, you can if you if you imagine a, a massive room full of gas, if you liquidise that gas, you're going to put it down into a very small container, and that means that you can have a much smaller spacecraft which moves it around. So you have liquid fuel, and then to when you're burning that fuel, you need as much oxygen as possible to to complete the combustion. That's ultimately what pulls, you know, creates the force. You have a combustion between fuel and oxygen, which creates the force in lots of different directions, but you focus it by this nozzle, and there's an awful lot about nozzle design in um, astronautics. So that's how most rockets work, and of course, the other reason that you need the oxidizer, of course, is because if you're firing in space, there's no oxygen. Whereas these, you have solid fuel. Uh, now this, this can be a whole variety of things, and it tends to be pretty volatile stuff. Um, but they don't have any oxi oxidizer, so these burn in the atmosphere. They won't—they wouldn't work in space, um, and they are literally a light and leave. You know, they—they—they—they um, they, they just burn. You can't stop them once they've started. So, what we're going to try and do to get this contract—it doesn't pay much money, but it's—you know—it's useful to to show you what these these things do. Is we're oh dear, oh dear, right? Okay. So one thing about what we're doing at the moment is we're at the very start of the space program and this launch pad out there can't deal with very much uh, and our spacecraft at the moment is too heavy we're two tons overweight so what we might then do can we get away with three of these just about okay so what we'll do then is we'll use this spacecraft and see if we can possibly reach that area what we're probably going to have to do is probably going to have to put this into two stages such that once these are uh, are burnt through, they're a lot of weight. They're, they're an awful lot of weight, actually. Um, and they're just going to drag us down. So we'll, we'll see how we get going. But this is a new mission, so we need a new pilot. And our new pilot is going to be Jordan McGonagall. And his spacecraft is going to be Biohazard 07. I'm not even going to ask, mate, where you got that from. Uh, to be fair, my room was a biohazard in 2007. Right. Jordan, are you sitting comfortably? It's the same view that I had in my spacecraft, so you know, you're gonna have to get used to it. Look at this! What's this? This trackable's all over the place. Shameful. Right. So, let's just have a quick look at the map. So we need to get over here. So, we're gonna need to angle ourselves northeast. So that's... This way. Yeah. I'm a scientist, yeah. Right, this is going to go like hell's bells, so brace yourselves. Three, two, one. It's quite spectacular, isn't it? Oh my god. Now the problem is, we are burning up an awful lot of solid fuel and we're going to have an awful lot of mass. So watch the velocity down here when the solid rocket boosters are done. God, we are going quickly. When the solid rocket boosters are done, our velocity is going to jump right back down because we haven't got the thrust from these guys. There we go. Look, it's tumbling like a rock. We're still going. To, we're still accelerating because we've still got th 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 this rocket, but we're not accelerating as fast. So, and we're calling back up. Right, let's just see. So, we're going in the right direction. Probably a little bit more east, actually. But I don't think we're going to make it.
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. Me? No. Of course not. That'd be silly. Yeah, we were going in the wrong direction. Okay, now what it's possible that we can do... It's probably not going to work. <laughs> oh, look, did something fall off? Oh, no, that must be the uh, stat decoupler from last time. What we can do is wait till we get to the Apple Apsis. So we'll just speed up time a little bit so we can get there a bit faster. Come on. And what we could try and do is do a lateral burn. So, because we're plenty high enough. What we can try and do is burn sideways. And we'll see what that does to our trajectory. Right. So, uh, oh, it is beautiful, this game. What direction do we need to go? We need to go... Oh, actually, that's a point. I can turn on navigation to this point. So I think that means that we need to burn in this direction. So, we haven't got much fuel left, so let's see how this changes our trajectory. So it's flattening out, but not enough. Okay. That's fine. This is, this is all good stuff. You'd think that a crew report from space would be worth more than that. This is all good stuff, right? So let's let's jettison this part of the ship. And I will see you guys back on the ground. Look at Jordan. Look how happy he is. Jordan gained one XP! I, I actually don't know what that means. Okay, so it looks like Jordan... Oh, Jordan, you're actually a pilot! Oh, that's really useful. Okay. Um... So Jordan, I think, needs to get one more XP, and then he gets an upgrade so it becomes more effective. But, you know. We also got a lot of science from that mission because we actually went into space. So I think we actually have enough. Yeah, we actually have enough to unlock some more parts. These are exactly what we need. So the parts that we just unlocked were radial decouplers. Now, what we have here is a stack decoupler. So that, that decouples from the stack. It's literally it's like a linear thing. What the radial couplers do, they decouple radially. So, if we put three of them on, you'll see that they appear as a stage. And if I whack these on top of them, what we have here then is a new flight plan. So, what what we're going to now try and do, and we're going to keep we're going to keep Jordan in, and we're going to keep Biohazard 07 as our ship. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire all of the three engines together. In fact, you know what, I'm feeling generous. I might whack on a bit more fuel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn all three all four of our engines at once. And then once these engines are done, these 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 um, solid rocket boosters, we're gonna jettison them using these radio decouplers. And we're gonna see hopefully that's gonna be enough to get us where we're going. Oh no, it's oh it's too heavy. Oh, it's slightly too heavy. That's really, really, really annoying. What can we do to lose a little bit of weight? Jordan, can I ask you just to lose a little bit of weight, please? You only need to lose like a hundred kilos. Okay, maybe that's a bit unrealistic. <laughs> can we just not take you? All right, I think we're gonna have to limit ourselves to just using two solid rocket boosters. But, now that we're not casting them around with us, this should be a bit better. And the other thing which we've got, actually, because how are we doing for weight? Oh, we've got plenty. Um, we've got these winglets <laughs> found lying by the side of the road. Um, what these do, these are going to allow us to have a little bit more aerodynamic control over the ship. Uh, I'll just put two on for now. It's not really ideal, but it'll stop us spinning. Not that we were anyway. Right, let's see what we can do this time. So just to recap, we now have three engines and we're going to fire all three at once. Once these two have burnt out, I'm going to hit space again and these radial decouplers are going to force these off the side. And then we're going to keep burning the rest of this column. We'll see how high that gets us. And we now know that we don't want to go here on the trackable. We want to go here on the trackable. Right, let's go. <laughs> Jordan has our CS, so I can actually control it a little bit. I hope you can hear me about how loud these engines are. Okay. 
how are we looking? Look, we're actually going in the right direction. This is good. This is very good. And the solid rockets are almost out of fuel. There we go. So we're going to jettison them. There they go. Wow. So, we've used those. We've got a bit more prestige. Now, let's see. We didn't get us very high, but we still have an awful lot of fuel left. And we are going ish in the right direction. Let's just move ourselves a bit more laterally so we're going to go closer. Come on. Yes, that's what I want to see. How high do we need to be for this? 16,400. I'll save my fuel. Right, okay. Oh no, I won't because we're not out of the atmosphere yet. <laughs> Flying, you are Jordan, you are a dream to fly with. You make it so much easier. Okay, right. So, nice and high. Now, what we can do is we can actually unlock a upgrade to the space station, so the the space center, such that if I click on a bit of an orbit, it will uh, allow me to see, given an amount of delta v in any given direction, how it's going to affect my orbit. We can't do that yet, uh, so we're just going to have to eyeball it. But basically, we just need to boost this way we need to we need to boost once we're here prograde so in the same direction as we're going but what i can do actually is uh activate navigation so on our trackable that is the direction oh come back you little thing right okay and now we're going to lock it off there um that's the direction that we want to play in playing firing sorry i really should turn off steam alerts that's really annoying i would oh i'd love to be playing Civ five right now I just got Brave New World, and it's amazing. Right. Ooh! So that's basically at the top of our bullet. Now let's burn and see how this affects our trajectory. So there we go. Look look how quickly this is uh, flattening out. It's just... Ooh, right, okay. So where's that left us? So we're in space. We don't actually have to worry about drag. We now need to burn a little bit like this. So that we're just getting ourselves a little bit higher, because ultimately we do need to be higher. I think actually that would be a good idea. Come on, come on. Don't run out of fuel yet, please. Oh, we literally just ran out of fuel. Okay. Is that going to be close enough? Let's find out. Okay, so we're just going to warp to near that location. We're going to come down. We're coming down in the ocean. That's the point, actually. To minimise the effect of drag, let's jettison that. You're a nice, you're a nice ship, Biohazard 07. I quite liked you. I'm sorry, we just couldn't have made you a bit bigger. Would have been nice. Right. Are we going to be near enough? I'm not sure. We're definitely high enough. It's a question of whether we're near enough. Are we near enough? Uh, I don't think we are. It's actually difficult to reach this one, isn't it? No, I don't think... We're near enough, I think. I think, Jordan, you might have to fly us again. What's your view like? Oh, look! You can see the flames! So this is, uh, this is, this is the atmosphere heating the spacecraft up to thousands of degrees, and that's, uh, causing a flame. Whoop! I didn't want to do that. You almost died in the fire. You were almost our first fatality then, Jordan. Being a pilot, that would have been a really, really big loss. Right. Let's splash you down, and let's try and do this again. Thanks for watching my playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. This is really the YouTube space program, I suppose. This is where I am putting YouTubers and their spaceships into space. If you would like to be part of the Kerbal Space Program, then please comment below, and I will add you to the roster. 
And equally, if you have any ship names, or if you have a ship name that you yourself would like to pilot, please comment down below and I will try and get you in the game. Lastly, if you have any suggestions for topics I should talk about over the top of gameplay when I remember to, then please also leave those down below. In particular, I'm going to be looking at rocket science and rocket history, but if you think there's anything else that would be relevant, please let me know. Thanks very much for watching.